Hey everybody, welcome to Techmark Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the remote play connection between your portal and the PS5. I noticed that there was an uptick in gamers that was having issues maybe after an update or if they re-logged into a different network or a new account. Either way, I'm going to get you right by giving you all of the troubleshooting tips that I use when I'm trying to reconnect my PlayStation Portal to the PS5. Now before I get into the video, be sure to smash that like button, comment below and tell me what games you're currently playing on the PS5 or your PlayStation Portal and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself if you haven't already. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now the first thing that I would recommend doing is re-entering your Wi-Fi information. So what you'll do is go into your PlayStation Portal settings, click into network, then you'll see setup internet connection and you should now see the registered networks that you're connected to. This can either be your home network, public Wi-Fi or your mobile hotspot. You're gonna press start and disconnect the network and we're gonna scroll down until we see that exact same network and we're gonna reconnect to it, simple as that. Now, in some cases, there still may be an issue with connecting the PlayStation Portal to the PS5. As you guys can see, I'm stuck in a connecting loop. The PS5 is on, and if you're experiencing this, this is gonna bring me to the next troubleshooting tip, which is to restart the PlayStation Portal. All you have to do is hold down the power button, hit the restart button, and you should now go through this process. In my opinion, I think that you should always restart your PlayStation Portal or either shut it down whenever you're done using it so whenever you boot it back up, you can always have a clean restart. I know that it's running Android and this does have a Wi-Fi chip, so it's always best to just restart it. And as simple as that, you can easily connect to your PS5 really fast compared to how it was before. Moving along, if you're still having connection issues, I highly recommend that you restart your PS5. So all you have to do is go into the control center, scroll down until you see restart PS5, and as simple as that, you're gonna go through this process once again. It doesn't take too long, and all we're doing is just resetting the Wi-Fi chips inside of the PS5 and freeing up system resources. Now, once completed, all we have to do is connect the PS portal, and as simple as that, we can now connect a lot more quicker than last time. Now, before we move on to the next step, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to smash that like button and comment below and tell me what games you're playing on the PS5 or PlayStation Portal. I'm kind of looking for some new games. I'm a little stuck with the GTA 5, but you know there's always room for growth. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get back into the video. Now for the gamers out there that still having connection issues with the PlayStation Portal and the PS5, then I got you. Disclaimer, this is for gamers out there that is actually next to the PlayStation 5 at home, or if you're away, you have somebody at home to help you troubleshoot this. So the first thing that we wanna do is sign out of our PlayStation account on the portal by going into the control center. We're gonna go down to the settings and at the bottom of the screen, you should see sign out. So we're gonna scroll down and click into that sub menu. It's gonna to ask you are you sure if you want to sign out we're going to choose the sign out button and as simple as that you should now have a playstation portal that doesn't have any accounts tied to it moving along we're going to log back into the playstation portal you should now see a qr code which is going to ask you to sign into your playstation portal account we're going to grab our cell phone and as simple as that we're going to log in from the playstation app moving along we're going to go back to the playstation portal and pair it with the ps5 all we have to do is follow the prompts you're going to see that we have to verify that our ps5 can connect to our PlayStation portal. To do that, we're going to go into the settings on the PS5 and we're going to scroll down until we see system. And now you can see that we have a tab that says remote play. So we're going to click into that sub menu and make sure that we enable remote play. If it's on, just turn it off and turn it back on. In addition, inside of the power savings tab, we're going to scroll down until we see features available in rest mode. We're going to click into that sub menu. And now you can see that we have a option where it says stay connected to the internet. If it's on, we're going to turn it off and we're going to turn it right back on so we can have a fresh start moving along we're going to go back to the playstation portal and click continue and you can now see that we're going to connect to the playstation 5 it might take about a minute or so so be patient and as simple as that we are now connected if you're still having connection issues then it has to be your router or internet provider the reason i say this is because we have so many devices connected to these routers and it just takes up so much bandwidth in return giving you slower internet speeds to potentially fix this issue i highly recommend that you find your kill switch or you can unplug your router so you can restart it once powered off wait for about 15 to 20 seconds for it to cool down then we can turn it back on i also like to wait around to make sure that the lights aren't amber and are turning white or solid white this is to ensure that the internet connection is going to work correctly after that i'm going to go and restart my playstation portal and i'm going to restart my playstation 5 as well just so i can make sure that all of the connections are going to sync up correctly 
And once done, we're gonna go ahead and go to our PlayStation portal and easily connect to the PlayStation 5. And everything honestly should work out perfectly. If it doesn't, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer everybody's questions. And if you need a little bit more extra technical support, then I might just open up a Patreon so you guys can join. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see me do that. Because I've been having a blast with the PlayStation portal ever since I picked it up last November. And honestly, we're coming up on a year. And this is honestly one of my favorite handheld devices that I've ever owned in my lifetime you know after owning the PSP or the PS Vita I just feel like the screen size just trump everything out there and this is a really light device the battery life is on point and I really can't complain as long as I have a really great connection hey anything is possible and before I get up out of here, I know that you guys have seen in the video that I have this air bubble coming up from the screen protector. I actually had the screen protector on since I owned the PlayStation Portal last November and it's now August. So maybe that's about 10 months now and I don't have any complaints. So that should tell you how reliable and durable this tempered glass screen protector is. And I highly recommend if you don't have one that you go ahead and pick one up for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you don't know how to install it, let me show you how to do it. So I'm gonna actually replace my screen protector that I have on there now with a brand new one inside of the packaging you're going to get two cleaning wipes one for wet and one for drying off the screen in addition you're going to get a premium tempered glass screen protector that's made specifically for the playstation portal and it has a great labeling so you can easily install it moving along i'm going to gently remove the existing screen protector from my playstation portal by just grabbing up on the corner and slowly pulling it off after that i'm going to grab my number one wipe which is wet and we're going to wipe off the screen just to make sure that we get the dirt dust gunk that was on the screen we're gonna get that off so we can have a proper installation. And if this is one of your first time installing these screen protectors, you wanna make sure that your screen looks exactly like this right before we get to the dry wipe. So we're gonna take that out and we're just gonna wipe off the screen once again, just to make sure that we got all type of residue off. And this is just the final clean before we install the screen protector. Once complete, we're gonna set the PlayStation portal down and get the screen protector ready for installation. We're gonna pull off the one tab from the screen protector and carefully place that side down onto the PlayStation portal screen you're going to match up the side with the analog sticks and we're going to press on this screen protector one time so the adhesive can stick to the screen if it doesn't spread then you're going to take another finger and drag it along the side so we can have a cohesive installation and avoid air bubbles if you do have those you can easily just massage those out and as simple as that you now have a tempered glass screen protector that's going to protect your playstation portal from drops and any type of crazy pressures that may crack the screen if you found this video helpful be sure to smash that like button comment below and tell me what games you like to play on your playstation portal or if you have any troubleshooting issues with connecting your portal up to your ps5 and subscribe to techmark gaming if you haven't already so i can be recommended to more gamers like yourself and if you may notice in the video i do have a g story monitor that's connected up to my ps5 which enables a lot of great features especially when you're on the go and you're able to take your ps5 with you you can stream movies and play games without any lag or any crazy stuttering compared to using remote play devices once that video is uploaded i'll leave a link in the description below and a card in the top right corner of this video in the meantime i'll see you guys in the next one take care deuces